Hello, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman, and today we're going to start adventuring in the the tower, which is, I think, Sionis' tower, which is spelled... Oh, can I write something in this thing? Uh, I guess I can run... Whatever, Sionis. Um... I find that name really strange and hard to grasp without having written out. Um, so, oh, and I don't have any map loaded at all. Start mapping. I, I guess I quit the program in between sessions. Uh, so I'm going to need a new region. I can write it here. It's Sionis. Um, that's apparently a person's name. And I find that a little weird. And this... Uh, world has kind of a color thing going on. We've got the Violet Mountain and Sionis Tower. It makes me want to believe this is some kind of CMYK printing system color space. I don't think that's actually what they're going for. Uh, also, that would be magenta and not violet. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so, here we are having just checked up well, not exactly just. We we checked up on everyone's experience points in the last session, and I uh, left the emulator running, I think, for a whole day without realizing it. So who knows in game time how many years my characters have aged. Um, it's sort of a little joke. There is no such mechanic in this game. Okay, so... Uh, Oh, hold on. I have no idea why the audio is breaking up. I forgot to investigate that first. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, I was running a server-oriented application in the background that I had to do some development on for work and forgot about it and left running. Anyway, I was using, like, three CPU cores, <laughs> doing almost nothing. Enterprise software is the best. So, here we are in Lucencia. Oop, oop. Uh, we went out of town, and it's a pretty straight shot. Hey, oh, I went over the tomb. That's not where I want to go. What I actually want to do is go back over here and go to the tower, so... No, I don't want to enter. What? What? What, what am I looking at? Why are there trees in front of me? I don't... Okay, I'm running away. It put me... Oh, it put me here, which might have been where I was. I wasn't paying that much attention. But now we're sort of on our way, except I've just got another fight that I'm not interested in, that I'm running away from. So we don't actually have any strong confirmation that um, this tower is the next thing to do before the tomb. And they may not even be linearly ordered, but in general, raiding the tombs for magic items have been the way we've finished up these um, worlds. Oh, that's the boot side A. Why is everything A? Why is it AA? -A? There's too many A's. There's a boot side A and a dungeon side A. Okay, so here we are in this tower, Cyanus Tower, with a trailing apostrophe, very, very classy. Um, looks like maybe a, a eight, eight by eight. I don't know, maybe six by six. But in any event, it's a relatively small level, and we start in the lower southwest corner, which means I can, for once. Grid, use the. Just show me the values. See? 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't have to put any of this marks myself. This is a little curious. We start off with. In, in some kind of room, with no apparent method of leaving the room. I'm assuming that's the stairway down, it's the tower. I'm assuming this is going up. I didn't pay attention, though, to the message. I'm betting there's a teleporter right in front of us, but let me mark... 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 Let me m
Mark down. Mm -hmm. Mark down the spinner. Somewhere over here. Cyanus Tower is made entirely of turquoise. Okay, that's... That's a little confusing to me, because... Um... That is not... Turquoise does not have the color cyan. I guess it's not far off. A narrow corridor leads in... Leads into a wall that has a small keyhole in the center of it. Oh. So, uh, our, our, um, repeating myself too much, our, uh, barkeep acquired intelligence was on the mark, as it turned out. He said, when we paid him a bunch of money, you get a key from the Violet Mountains in order to get into Cyanus Tower. And we have a key. And that makes a door. Uh, how to mark this? Hidden door or something like that? Gate. Lock door. Trap door. I, 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 I don't know. I guess I'm being too fussy about this. There we go. I'll call it a secret door. And through I go. Odd to the east, stairs to the south. Hmm. Some sort of quiet. And this, I'm not even looking at it. Well, I'm, I'm looking for the odd. A quiet and a anti magic to the west. Not sure exactly where they're going to be. Over here somewhere. Okay, by now do we have a better idea how big... Well, we can see to the end. So I guess we do. And that's one, two, three, four away. Okay, so I think it's a six by six tower. Uh, not options, setup. Sorry, the 7x7 seven seven tower. It goes up to location 6, but, you know, we start with 0. 7x7 seven seven is a curious size to build your structures. Anyway, first I'm going to go back south and make sure the stairs go down. Stairs go down, okay? Uh, I guess I can go ahead and move these to possible locations. And stairs. I'm going to assume they're up, even though I could be wrong. Whoop! Not that one. And what about to the west? More spell wavering and more quiet. Okay, moving forward, we detected stairs to the north, which were the stairs we came up on. To the east, We've got, a uh, something. The west. We have a something. In this case, it's not the same something, because these three east and these three west do not overlap. But I suspect this, um, these quiet zones are going to be contiguous. East, nothing. West, a trap. Oh, oh, I didn't click on it correctly. Over here somewhere, we have a trap. Oh, looks like a fight. My first fight of... And these look very similar. 
do um, things we've already fought. And in fact, um, the Chaos Fiends will take an arbitrary amount of time. There's really no saying how long it'll take to fight them down. So I'm going to not comment on the whole fight. Okay, so it turns out I underestimated that group. There was a one enemy that was new in there I didn't notice who was a Mask of Death, who seems to cast Far Death on us repeatedly. So if I let him come within 20, 30 feet, he just starts critting down party members. So maybe I should have left that fight in, but I didn't. Anyway, um, I don't know whether I should be bothering to fight masks of death because uh, they have a lot of hit points I was having trouble hitting them I don't know if it's really a good use of resources but one thing's for sure I can't detect anything in this location not in any direction I'm pretty sure I see one two Assuming the corner's there. I don't actually know it, but now I can see it. Okay, so we get something in odd, which I should have assumed, but I could have been wrong. The spinner is not in this location. And we checked from there, I think. Yeah, we did. So north we see odd and something again. So, I don't know how that, the something is probably here because we couldn't check in the message square. South, we have stairs and something. We have a spinner and something. Oh, right. Right. Um, I was remembering something was going to happen in this corridor from the last time I played this many years ago, but I wasn't remembering what. I was like, something happened funny happens as we try to make our way around here, but I don't remember what. And well, there it was. We just got teleported to over here. I guess it dropped us on a spinner. That's very, that's very, uh, cheeky. And I think it also dropped, the, I think it's also a spell, a hit point drain rather, that we're standing on. So, let's leave the auto map. Oh no, it's not a hit point drain, I just invented that. Anyway, um, and from this location looking west, we can't detect anything, so it's all normal stuff over there. Just, uh, just some walls. But I'm gonna go around this way because I feel like. If it teleports from me from here to here, then what did I miss? Okay, north from here we got the spell wavering, so these, these wavers may be right here specifically. And the something. J. H not J. Oh my goodness. There we go, now I know we're here. And to the south we also see a something. So this may be here. We'll find out. Oh, 
Oh, so many Chaos Fiends. So many Chaos Fiends. I am not going to record. I'm not. I'm going to cut this out for sure. I just find them super irritating. Like, they're at 10 feet, and you try to attack them before any of your characters get to attack. They, they're at 70 feet, and then your spells miss, and then they're at 10 feet, and then they're critting you, and then they're at 70 feet again, and this is all in one turn. And I don't like it at all. Anyway, to the north, we can sense a trap, and quiet. Makes me wonder if the trap is like, trap quiet like that. We'll see. Uh, same to the south. This should be the, um... Okay, these are all new opponents. I am not cutting this. Uh, all new opponents. All of them. I can only directly attack the old yellers. Uh, I suspect the brute's gonna come forward. Kills Overture to kind of kill off what we can. Hide, because what else would a rogue do? Mm. Wither Fist, maybe, on those old yellers to make sure they're gone. Some anti-magic and some more anti-magic, because we got a bunch of dragons. Dragons I'm not familiar with. Maybe they're mean. Okay, so... First, the Fatal Fist seems to be killing all of the old yellers. Oh, I... yes. And my follow-up... Oh, that was not Fatal Fist, that was uh, Kills Overture. Using a streb trebuchet. Or trebuchet, I don't really know which. Um, okay, so... Now we're down to the dragons, which are not right in front of me, and I'm sort of hoping that they have 20-foot breath weapons, because a bunch of dragons in older Bard's Tales did. Mm. Uh, we could use a master, the yellow staff, the master staff, master wand, master wand, on the first dragon, which is now dead. Okay, so their breath weapons can reach 30 feet, which is a little bit of a bummer. Whoa, I totally changed the brightness on the screen, and I have no idea if that's going to be recorded in the replay. Have I mentioned that I really don't like the match Mac Touch Bar? It's like the worst feature ever. I would pay money to have it not exist. Uh, Anyway, I know there are models where you don't have it, but this is purchased by work, so we didn't get a choice. Trap zap. Um Come on, come on. Do I have to press a button to get out of the treasure screen? I'm a little unsure. Okay, so nothing detected north or south. So that means these fields are well this one's almost certainly here because oh no both of them because we were able to sense three north and we didn't sense it here or here or here or here so they're definitely over on that side okay additionally we can see a corridor fight these two on screen. Hiding and what is my Fatal Fist is my monster spell. I'm going to just use it. Probably because I have more gems than I know what to do with. I'm going to try to pull in the Mind Mage. Yeah, that's Fatal Fist doing close to a thousand damage to everything except for 
well, a couple that resist. Resistance is futile. Resistance is actually quite annoying. Looks like the Mind Mage pull worked. Oh, but I lost my turn somehow. Someone did a freeze on us. I think Mind Mages do that. Am I in danger of dying within a turn? No, then I'm going to advance. Still not in danger of dying within a turn. So, although Lillian's getting a little low. Well, more than a little low. So I would say these yellow dragons are a little more dangerous than most of the dragons I've gotten in random encounters. Mm, like longer breath weapon, a little higher damage output. But not... Could you, could you tell the difference between this O and this D? Because I made a typo. I did CDO. And, and I only knew it because I knew what kit letters I actually pressed. I was like, I can't even tell, read that I've, whatever, they look very similar is my point. So many gems. Oh my god, look at all those gems. Look at all of those gems. Might as well start using them, because I'm about to run out of room. Oh, I tried to use the rainbow rose. Grisella can't figure out what to do with a rainbow rose. She has no romance in her life. Okay, so, um... Oh, there are some things there. It's just a whole trick with... During a fight, you get half the messages. Uh, up here, we can sense... Quiet and wavering. Sure, and to the east, odd. Which would be one, two, three odd. So, so far our guess on location seems on target. Here we got stairs and waver and quiet and a fight. And this one includes Chaos Fiends, so I'm gonna run. gonna fight this haste mage because my assumption is I still am lacking in the upgrades I deserved from this relatively new world. Mm, a tongue shield. A tongue shield. I'm pretty sure the tongue shield is an upgrade. Can Elena use a tongue shield? I bet she cannot. Oh, I, I stepped on another teleport spot. Oh, Elena's full. What are you full of, Elena? You're full of it. Oh, some armor I never actually got around to identifying. A hunter's cloak, which is crap. This is a canteen with dragon blood in it. I don't know if that's important anymore. I think it's not. I should have banked it. I'm trying to give it to anyone else in the party, and so far, I'm failing. Yeah, it seems like everyone is entirely full. So, we'll use a gem, because I want to use one anyway. Yeah, that's the state you don't want to be in. You don't want to be in a state where you have no space left at all, because what ends up happening is you just don't get items, and I don't think the game even tells you. It just says, like, oh, I'm not going to tell you you're full, and those items I would have said were dropped for you, I'm going to just pretend they don't exist. 
It's kind of like that. Okay. Now I've got a small sliver of item slots available. But I want, oh right, I wanted to hand the tongue shield to Elena, who I was pretty sure would not be able to use it. Trade to Elena. If she can, though, she's got the worst armor class of my frontliners. Cannot. Okay, no surprise. Chris Nock is in the pole position. She's the first one on the list, which means she's the most likely to be attacked in the whole party. Oh, but she's already got a tongue shield. Okay, well, how about Lady Oak Shield? What kind of arm shield do you have? You have a... What do you have? You have a pure shield. That's, we can definitely upgrade that. Oh my goodness, I am over full. Mm. Here's the tongue shield. No? Oh wait, I gave it to Grisnock? I'm so dumb. Losing track. Who has what? Okay, Lady Oak Shield. Equip the Tongue Shield, and your armor class goes to negative 23. Uh, this Pure Shield is a Paladin-only item, and we're just going to drop it on the floor and walk away from it in the dungeon. Okay, so the next question is, where exactly were we when we teleported? Were we here or here? I don't know for sure. I think we were here. And that drops us here. Oh, uh, you used the wrong icons. That's in. That's out. No, that's out. So how do you get to here? course is hide rather than move icon. There we go. I don't even want to fight them. Not even off screen. I'm really sick of Chaos Fiends. Maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe I should just nuke the heck out of them. Oh look, and I moved the map window at some point. Okay, let's try to move it back. That seems better. to and teleport to the east. Does this work? Uh, I don't think that went anywhere. Okay, if we can't teleport in this level, I don't know how we're going to fully explore it. Maybe we won't. Phase door work? No. Okay, well, whatever. Uh. That mean, you know, I think I had the position wrong. I think this teleport in location is actually here. Uh, but any event. Of course, we're now over here. Um, wrong icon. And meanwhile, I'll finish drawing these walls, even though I have no idea how I'm ever going to get over there. And we're just going to proceed without, without knowing how. Oh, darkness. Means I'm not going to be able to detect anything. And then non darkness. Um, we can see the 
wavering and the odd. These are not stepping in an odd. I think it just said explosion, but I'm not sure. Darkness. And then non-darkness. So we have dark, dark. I feel like it's it should be duck, duck. Strap. Okay, so from this location, we get only stairs and something, as expected. Here we get something in odd. And here we're going to get the wavering. And I'm just wandering around in spell point drain. I bet these are all spell point drain. I will find out in a second. Drain, drain, not drain. The south? No, no to the south. So drain, drain, drain. And now we have the previously trapped spot in the corner. And then we got silence. And why can't we detect the trap? I don't know why we can't detect the trap from... Oh, this corridor is a little longer than I thought it was. That's why we couldn't detect the trap. Okay. Uh, trap, zap. And now we get to the part of the, uh, the level where I try to determine what sort of some things they are. I bet... One of these segments is just hit point loss. I, mean, I don't know what the other is going to be. Okay, this is not hit point loss. It is spell point regen. I'm going to wait to the next tick. Yep, these are all spell point regen. So, option and click. And we're going to go up here. And that one's probably going to be hit point drain. Yep. As I leave, I'll probably be drained again. Yep. And then we're going to have our spells cancelled here. And here again. And then we finally come around this side. And our spells should work again. Okay, so... This is not much to right left. Just the process of... Removing these texts and replacing them with what happens there. We lose our hit points. And up we go. I am not going back down again immediately. We can detect a set of stairs in front somewhere. Excuse me, I'm going to have a little belch here. Okay, with that out of the way. Uh, we have walls in front to the east. We have a quiet and... I forgot to set my timer, you know. So this is going to be another one of those episodes where the length is going to be totally erratic. But I think if I um, keep to just the first two levels of the tower, it will not be um, 
you know, too far out of line. Uh, and to the west we also have a something and a quiet. Though really, maybe I should start, start seeking to have uh, something more like 30 minute episodes. Uh, in which case... Well, the downside of that is a single, mapping a single level might be like six episodes in some cases. Which, in which case they'd all be like, nothing really happened, I need some more mapping. Okay, doing this, <laughs> typing this off camera. Strange grasping gargoyles frozen in the walls reach out toward you. Beyond them and on their bodies, you see the carvings of Cyanus and Lyria as they once were. So that makes me think these are... Oh look, I did the thing again where I did a label instead of a note. So I think that this is a scenario where like the walls are covered with carvings and somehow gargoyles came alive. It's like they carved the walls, then afterwards the walls came alive with gargoyles coming out of the walls and then they got frozen or something like that. I don't know, it's a little bewildering uh, what exactly I'm being told. But the overall theme is definitely former idyllic peaceful love and current anguish. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty clear on those ideas. Oh, I just stepped into an anti-magic I didn't know about. Mm. And there's the silence. And what happens if I cast a spell? So, oh no, that's, that's an attack spell. Mage Flame, not Arc Fire. Oh, I can't tell because I already had a, my light was still working. I'm being dumb. Mako. Okay, so this is not anti-magic. That is. And I expect this to be two over here. Yep. And I expect this to be silence. And it is. Okay. Now, having stepped forward, we're not in silence, but we are in spell point drain. That's spell point drain too, as is that, as is that. So much spell point drain. They love that stuff on this level. Okay, turning to the south. I'm gonna step on the something, which is not hit point drain. That's 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 a that's a plus. Let's start using our harmonic gems. If I get drained again, that's okay. I have more harmonic gems on top of those. Still don't know what this something square is. Am I even on a something square? I don't actually know that I am. Mm, yeah, I am. There's a spinner up north. Somewhere. Okay, what's my mage? Okay, this is a spell point regen. I just, I don't know. It's starting to be bother me just how prevalent the spell point regen squares are when they're so kind of bad. I just keep rubbing my nose in the fact that they have this game feature that kind of just sucks. Okay, next. Uh, and from here we can take that spinner, so my spinner happens to be in the right spot by accident. We'll see wave rings that way. This way is something. Look, 
gonna worry about it for now. Something went away, so we stood into something. 232. 234. Okay, another random spell point regenerator. Uh, I'm gonna just go this way. Okay, we went from being able to see a trap to being able to see a trap and something. Probably another spell point regen. Darkness. Darkness. There are stairs near. I feel like I'm standing on a trap. Uh, at this point, I'm pretty certain I am. Yep, there's that trap. And... Let's refill my spell points, because I think that trap actually worked. So now we went here, here, here. And... Let's draw in the walls. And this darkness. Oh, I missed a, I missed a wall. I feel like I'm standing in a spell point region, and I am. Uh, keyboard focus in the wrong place. I guess I should zoom the map in. Not much else to look at. press some keys on the keyboard without meaning to. Oh, let's step back to the east. And again, there's 243. It's probably going to jump to 245. Where's my spinner icon? Here you go. Yep, 245. This is... Nope, not you. This is going to be a spell point drain, yep. So let's go all the way down here. And see what's around the corner. Oh, two point drain all the way around here. Oh, not all the way around. Just, just these two that we know so far. The fight could have just made it harder to tell. Uh, I'm going to choose to run. I'm just not feeling it. Okay, so how far north did the drain go? It went to here. up here. Why why do you not want to please put the trap? Thanks. Oh, so I guessed wrong on the stairs location it seems. Here, not here. And I'm stuck. So let's put down the stuck message. And on this location, we have a message.
Somehow, a sculpture on the south wall escaped Cyanus' madness. It is a carved icon of Lyria, and you can see its beauty in its beauty the reason her death would unbalance Cyanus. Below it is the word beloved. Okay, recorded this message. Uh, I don't think this is anything... I think this is just flavor. I could be missing the boat. But... Also, I kind of feel like we weren't really given an explanation that Cyanus had gone mad. There were like some hints, but it's like weird to say like, okay, there's some weird gargoyle forms. Oh, he went mad. Anyway, it's not the win. It's not, it's not a terrible thing. I just feel like... Um, I often am being told things that I didn't know, and not by, like, hearing them from someone, but having the narrator of the game just kind of mention that I know stuff. Anyway, it's, I certainly got the message, which is, uh, Illyria died, Sanus went crazy. So, Sanus is probably still alive and still crazy. And it's probably here in this tower of his. So, I'm gonna go, I guess, make friends with a... Oh, I had the spinner in the wrong location? Or is this just another thing where the fight... Yeah, the fight screwed it up. These all just plain fight. I'm not gonna even cut it because this is this is simple stuff. Relatively, anyway. It's funny they're advancing, and I'm busy trying to pull them in. Am I gonna need to? I'm probably gonna need to boost my chances to hit. Death blades. I'm gonna go ahead and just plain I'll drop that. I don't I, I I have a youth potion I'm carrying around already. I don't actually need them because I have a spell that does the same thing. Oh, here's a different message. On the south wall you find an icon of Cyanus himself. It shows a handsome, intelligent man, but has only one disturbing aspect to it. Its eyes have been clawed out. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna choose to imagine that this icon was not made of stone, because I don't want to imagine a monster that I have to fight. can make claw marks in stone. Uh, so, I'm not getting the sense that there's another monster in this tower. Like, I don't get the sense that there's like a beast that invaded the tower after Cyanus went mad. So if Cyanus goes mad and then things get clawed out, my expectation is 
Sionis did the clawing. Oh, look at that, I was facing the wrong way. And let's go down this side and presumably get a lot more spell hit points drained. Yep. So... What did we learn? We learned there's a trap in this corner... That I didn't even disarm, I just walked over it like a lazy jerk. And then got my uh, hit points drained all along this side. Oh, and I never put this uh, wall in. And they're still gonna be being drained. I'll fix it later. <laughs> I was about to end, and now I'm in a fight. I'm just gonna run. And. Uh, the stairs are presumably right here. Uh, which puts us on Cyanus level 3. But uh, I am going to save exploring Cyanus level 3 till a later episode. Uh, this has been Jay Robin playing Bard's Tale 3. And soon we will continue our ascent in Cyanus Tower. I don't know how tall it will be. And uh, eventually probably find Cyanus maybe in some normal form, like as a person. Maybe as a beast. Let's find out next time, or maybe time after that. See you then.